Hello, my name is Carx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Um, I am just in a new mine, as you can see from the roots of the Twilight Forest. I am in the Twilight Forest, getting some Garnierite, Cobaltite, and Penta Pentalendite, um, and I need that for the nickel. Um, so just found a vein, and it's actually right next to a Naga Naga courtyard, I think it's called. Although there is no Naga there, I haven't killed it. So I will have to look into that when we get into more Twilight Forest. Could have sworn I saw one there, but I don't know if it's despawned from like uh, going in and out of the Twilight Forest or what the deal is, but I'll have to look into that. Alright, so we're just going to head back home and take a look at where what we're going to get done today. And I think I really want to at least make some pretty decent headway into the Blast Furnace. Hopefully get it built today. Now I have kind of figured out where I want it to go. And I can run a bit here. Let's put some of this away. Um, I don't need all this. But I can smelt this, I believe. Yeah, I can smelt that into nickel. Can I smelt this into nickel, or does it have to be? Yep, I can do that as well. I think this can be smelted down. So I just need some nickel for Invar. And I have kind of decided I'm going to put the Blast Furnace here and actually do its own separate turbine and battery buffer. So I've been kind of getting some of this stuff going. Oh, there's some impure nickel. That came from a small, I think that came from a small ore. All right, so I don't know how much nickel I'm going to need. What do we do? Half one. Alright, that goes down into probably nuggets, I'm guessing. Alright, so that is going. Cobaltite will come in handy when I get. I think you get arsenic from it, or gallium? Arsenic, I think. From that. Alright, so. Well, with our steam. Yeah, we're definitely using a lot of steam here. Got a lot of machines running. As we can see, multiple steam. We got that running, so. We're draining the steam up top. Let's just double check these are working. Um, make sure all uh oops yeah. once these all empty out I think yeah that's going down I am these pipes are big enough I just I figured they were I just wanted to make sure Right, that is not enough bronze. Is there more in here? No. Let's make this. Can't wait till I can make this in a assembler. 
the wrought iron it is such a pain. Alright, so there is uh, the hull I wanted to make. I think I got. Did I? Yeah, I got the wires. I'm going to make a 9 slot battery buffer for this one. And do I have any extra chests? I don't. I do. Alright, so there's the 9 slot battery buffer. Which I needed it for the quest, so I figured good time to do this. So we'll take that and then. Ooh, basic arc furnace. I like that machine because you can smelt wrought iron, yeah. And we can smelt stuff back that we're not using to get, like, this stuff we can smelt down this and we'll get back the the bronze. Right, and uh, what I was planning on doing actually was switching this out. It's almost about to break. Not quite, but it's getting there. I'm just going to put the four batteries in there, but I'm going to switch it out eventually. Uh, but I haven't changed the cables yet, so I can't do that yet. Um, but then I was going to put a own separate battery buffer over here, um, solely for the blast furnace. And I figured I'd have a own separate turbine, and then I'm going to run piping under here for the steam. It's kind of the plan. I think that's enough. I think I needed 42 bronze for what I want to do. And I don't think it's this one. And both of those are going to die. There it goes. I think it was plates, wasn't it? I think it's the wrenches or plates, I think. I don't remember. Hammer's gonna go, isn't it? Yeah. Might as well make a new hammer as well. Wait, I don't. Oh, I don't have a hammer. Thought that was the wrench. Huh? Oh, it's ingots. Oh well. I will definitely use those steel plates at some point, so not a big deal. Why did I think it was? Maybe it was plates in Greg Block, maybe? Alright, so there are the pipes. Let's go downstairs. Uh, where are we? Right here. So I'm going to replace these small ones with the bigger ones. So there it will, these should be full steam. It's bouncing back and forth, but it should fill up eventually. Yeah, it just, once it empties out into the pipes, it should. 
Um, but okay, so let me. Um, I need to get the rotor, and I need to get some of the components for the blast furnace, which isn't too difficult to make. Um, basically, just a lot of nickel and like iron. I need to make a couple more of these, but these are just invar and pretty easy to make. Um, so yeah, let me uh, cut here and uh, we'll start working on this. All right, I have done quite a bit of crafting here. Um, we take a look at this. I have the iron furnaces, I have the circuits, tin cables, uh, but first I need the heat casings. Remember that? Now oh, I can't find it. <laughs> I thought it was called the heat casing, wasn't it? Let's just look at the quest. Heat proof, not heat casing. All right, so I need for these. I need okay. Quest needs eleven, so I need at least sixty-six of those. Just need to get that going. I think I have enough. Uh. Could be wrong though. So let's heat proof. There it is. And then these are just eight rods and then a wrench in the middle. And you get two from these. And I need eleven. that. Yeah, so then hammer and wrench. All right. So just gotta wait for this to smelt up a little bit. I forgot to do the, the invar, unfortunately. Um, but while that is going, um, let me get the rest of the stuff here. So we need input, output, and input hatch, maintenance hatch, muffler hatch. So there's a bunch of different things we need. And for that, I also need steel plates. Actually, I thought I had more <laughs> crafted up here than I actually did. So let me cut again. And when we come back, I will get all these steel plates going and everything. All right. So I got all oh my in of our plates, I think, yeah. So there is the 11. So then you use one of them for the blast furnace. And then I have the input bus, output bus, and input hatch. I'm pretty sure these haven't changed. All right, so these have changed. <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be an LV hall with a chest. Should have looked at that. I'm assuming the same. Yeah. And then I mean I kinda I get the the recipe it makes sense, but what about the input hatch? Does that that probably has a pump on it, doesn't it? Yep, there's the pump. Large steel fluid cell. Double steel plate, four, so that's eight. Holy cow, that's a lot. Alright, so 
Once again, this is a little more difficult than I was anticipating. I did not look this up uh, beforehand. It's not difficult, but um, these electric pumps are kind of a pain. Um, but I did actually look at the rotor. Throw that in there. Yeah, that's right. I can actually, uh, if I, I made a, oh my god, my, my bags are getting full here. That going. I made a, another tank over here, and the reason I did that was so I could Empty that out, and I have soldering iron in this one. Okay, that's it's not letting me put soldering iron in it. No, oh. all oh, right, yep. I keep forgetting the you have to shift right click to get it out, and then you put it in the in slot to get it into the thing, and then I need to put it in here. It's not the most glamorous of <laughs> processes here going back and forth with this and then in there and stuff but uh, it works so the small turn ally and it just makes these much easier to make I still have to bend these because I don't have a extruder yet is it like that no file not wrench So the rotor is just tin plates and a thing, and then uh, with the soldering alloy in the assembly machine. Um, but I still need the assembly machine with glue to make the circuits, so I made another tank so I could kind of switch them out. It's not ideal, but uh, it works for now. All right, so let me get the rest of all the kind of random stuff I need here for all the other hatches. Let me look at the maintenance hatch yeah that hasn't changed from the last time I remember and then okay so this one requires a bronze order all right so not too difficult but uh, definitely some extra steps all right a bunch of time later I think I have everything I could be wrong let me put some of this stuff away just to get it out of my inventory because um, there's a lot of components. I also did, I forgot to mention this, um, under, yeah, controls, um, this open backpack, uh, it is, it wasn't set to any keybind, so I set it to B, um, but it did have a, um, conflict with, I forget which one it was, one that's something with the journey map, I think. Yeah, create waypoint was also B. Um, that opens up the backpack. And if you shift B, it'll open up the backpack slot. So you can actually put it in there and then you can pick which. Uh, so like if I have it set to that, if I throw some cobblestone down, it'll automatically go in my backpack. So that's, yeah. That uh, backpacks mod, open backpack, you might have to set that to a hotkey. And then to open it is B. To open up the thing to put the backpack, like where it's, not have it in your inventory, is Shift B. Um, but I forgot to mention that at the beginning of this episode. Um, all right. So we got a bunch of stuff here. Let's pull this all out. Now, so the input bus, let's see if I can remember this, it was that, 
I'm pretty sure these are shaped, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shaped recipe. So conveyor, chest, machine hull. Oops. Say conveyor, chest. So that's the input bus. So let me do that. Now I need the um, output bus, and I think, yeah. So chest over the hull. That's the left, and that's to the right. All right, so that's the output bus. Actually, I need those all in my inventory at the same time. Then this is the pump fluid cell. Pump fluid cell. Machine hull, and that. So that's input hatch. That should be the three of those. Yep. Now the maintenance hatch. I remember this one being a pain to craft because it's all the different things, and I can't shift click this in. So screwdriver, wrench, cutter. Screwdriver, wrench, wire cutter, hammer, crowbar. And file, saw, and soft mallets. Did I say file? Yeah, there we go. So there is the maintenance hatch, and then obviously it doesn't use all these tools. I'll leave them there for now. And then the muffler hatch is probably machine hull, motor, then these two. And motor. There is the muffler hatch. All right. Now I'm actually going to skip that one. Um, so I need two Cooper Nickel wires, which is one stack of copper. Ah. We look at this. It is. No, oh, I didn't know you can get rod two wires. That's cool. Um, this is Cooper Nickel is in the alloy smelter. Let's see if I can actually find it. Yeah. So you can do whatever you want, but it's one copper, one nickel, and you get two. And you need two stacks of Cooper Nickel to get four stacks of wire. So it's one stack of nickel, one stack of copper, basically. And then combine these. That should get us the Copernicus wire. And then we need the Copernicus coil blocks. All right. So this has changed. <laughs> I keep running into stuff that's changed that I didn't realize. Alumino silicate wool or mica insulator foil. All right, so let's, I'm going to throw this in here. Let's figure out how this is made. So silicate wool, green sapphire dust, silicon dioxide dust, sapphire ruby dust I do have, but ruby is quite um, yeah, that's quite a it's good for getting chrome, so I don't know if I want to particularly use that. This is mica stuff. So mica insulator sheets, you get four. So I need two of these per, and then I need 16 of these. So. All right, it does look like I'm going to have to come up with silicon dioxide. Both of these recipes use silicon dioxide. So this is asbestos. Mica raw rubber. I did find mica, I think. This is a serious kind of craft here, though. I didn't realize how crazy. I have found a kyanite vein. I 
Micah is secondary, so that is shouldn't be too difficult to get. So I think for this, I'm going to do well. It doesn't. This is six. I'll need six of these per. Or two. If I do it this way, it's two silicon dioxide, I think. All right, so if we look at this. Well, how do we get silicon dioxide? Sand and electrolyzer, is it? Oh, we can put flint dust in a silicon or a centrifuge. So that's actually pretty easy. All right, so I'm going to have to go out and find some mica here. I think that's the one I'm going to do. Um, to get that, I obviously didn't even think about that. I was thinking it was just going to be the regular recipe, but it has been more made more difficult. Now the last thing, I think... Um, these LV energy hatches, I was thinking, oh, these will be easy, of course. But nope, they have been changed. So I need two of these, and all this stuff is just a bunch of steel. No problem, pump, circuit, blah, blah, blah. But I need lubricant. Now, lubricant, uh, easy enough. I can do, oh, look, creosote, lubricant, some redstone, super easy to make. So I went to look at the brewing machine. Or brewery, or I forget what it's called. Basic brewery. I need a brewing stand, and there is no recipe for that. And I remembered. Uh, you might have noticed that you cannot build a brewing stand without Thomcraft. If you're not, you can still find them in chests. Better get searching. Now, Thomcraft is locked behind the blast furnace. So. That is kind of out, but the other way is using a distillery, and I have gotten everything for the distillery. But can I sleep? Nope, Blood Moon. Dang it. I was just about to go out and mine too. So the distillery... Let me connect this. Uh, wire cutters are in one of these, aren't they? Yep. All right, so lubricants in the distillery. I need a program circuit. Uh, this one I'm going to do. So creosote with a program circuit of four. 25 creosote gets you eight lubricants. And I need four buckets of lubricant, so that is like 500 crafts of creosote. Where did I put my wrench here? Gotta stop using that. So I need to... I wonder if I could... Can I do this? I can. I can't put it in there though, can I? <laughs> of course not. Uh, yeah, it would have to be the fluid canner, and that's not gonna work. All right, so I gotta figure out how I wanna do this. And uh, I also need to Am I going to be able to get my sleeping bag back? Because it's like down and it's not even in my inventory anymore. Alright, so I got to get the lubricant uh, distilled. And I need to go get mica and the silicon dioxide. And hopefully that is the last of the uh, surprises in crafting this blast furnace. All right, so I decided to go the mica route. So I went to the kyanite vein that I had, got the mica, which is actually really easy to find. 
Um, it's like the whole, like a, the vein is seven blocks tall and it's like the whole, like middle, I guess four down. So, uh, super easy to find. So I mixed it with the raw rubber and a mixer circuit and I got the mica base pulp. Um, I got diodamite, which was in one of the, the same vein as I think the kyanite. I don't see really quick. <laughs> right, it was in this vein, which I needed for the asbestos. Um, and I actually get tin out of that vein too, so that works. And the reason I did that is so I could centrifuge it, and I will get flint dust from that. Oh my god, I actually spelled it right. <laughs> yeah, if we centrifuge 10, you get 8, and I actually need 8 flint dust. I get some iron and sapphire out of it, so that's cool. It does take 42 seconds, though. So. Alright, but uh, I went to make the mica-based boards, the sheets or whatever, and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then I realized I need a forming press, <laughs> which I do not own yet. So can't uh, continue without getting the forming press, which I'm guessing probably needs two pistons. Yep, there's two pistons, a couple circuits, which isn't too bad, but it is um, some steel, and I'm really low on steel. Um, got some more in here, but uh, yeah, I need uh, quite a bit more steel. So unfortunately, we're not going to get this uh, built uh, this episode, but uh, next episode we will come back and uh, hopefully I will finally get everything uh, built or yeah, everything, uh, all the components finally crafted up and then we can go ahead and put this thing together. I completely underestimated what the um, all the different stuff was going to take to get this crafted uh, in Greg Tech New Horizons. I didn't even think that the hatches and all the stuff, the recipes would have been changed, but of course. Um, but that's cool. I just wasn't expecting that, but now I know for the future, kind of going into this stuff. Like this one, I'm used to just being eight around a wrench, and that will do the coil, but obviously <laughs> that is not the case in Greg Tech New Horizons. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.